In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own post field effect using Adobe After Effects. It's very easy. So let's jump in. Create a 10 second long new composition of 1920 by 1080. Now create a black solid. Now type red in effects and presets from backgrounds. Drag and drop the red speed effect into your black solid. Now create another black solid and name it fractal. Now search for fractal noise in your effect and presets and drag and drop the fractal noise to the new solid that we have created and named fractal. Now change the fractal type to dynamic, click the invert option, change the contrast to 270, change the brightness to minus 100, the overflow will be soft clamp and press alt on your keyboard and click the stopwatch icon on the evolution and type time multiplied by 200 and when you are satisfied with the created look you can either change the noise type to block now pre-compose both the layers now drag and drop the cc vector blur effect in your fractal noise layer and leave it as it is now bring glow effect and bring the glow effect on the top of cc vector blur in the glow threshold make it 21.2 in the glow radius make it 69 and if you want you can try to change the color from here but it doesn't look good now pre-compose this layer just search for the effect cc sphere and drag and drop the cc sphere on the fractal noise layer and as you can see i am changing the radius to make it bigger according to my liking i have given here 491 value in the radius now click the light drop down and change the light height to 100 so that it gives the light to the entire sphere and here you can change the color of the light here i am changing to kind of blue which looks cool now we need to make it glowing drag and drop the glow effect on this layer and change the glow threshold to 74.5% make the glow radius 136 and the glow intensity will be 1.2 now it looks something like this now duplicate the glow effect and decrease the threshold to 39.2% glow radius will be 235 or 240 and change the glow intensity to 0.4 it looks something like this now which looks amazing now pre-compose both the layers now repeat the same steps in the red speed layer and you can either change the values of the glow effect according to your own liking. So finally our effects look something like this. I am going to place this layer above this layer just to show you. It looks so amazing. So if you want you can render both of them separately but in this tutorial I am going to show you this way. So I hope you like this video if you do please drop a like and share this video with your friends so that they can learn something new from you. If you are new to my channel I would request you to subscribe me for new and original free to use VFX as well as VFX tutorials like this one. So I hope to see all of you in my next video. Thanks for watching and have a great time.